and welcome to my channel. This is Eleni and today I'm going to play with alcohol inks on Yupo paper and I will create some cards with the outcome. I'm using Tim Holtz alcohol inks by Ranger and I'm also using their blending solution to make the ink move and blend. And in the second bottle I have regular rubbing alcohol that can be used for that as well. My rubbing alcohol is in a spray bottle, so that is what I use every time you see me spray. I'm also using a piece of felt for blending effects, but a sponge would also do. And I'm using Yupo paper that is by Legion. And uh, Yupo paper is not exactly paper, it's like plastic. It's a synthetic paper that is great for this kind of techniques but it is also pretty expensive, so you can use the back side of photo paper that you may have instead. So I cut one paper into smaller parts to create my cards, and now I'm playing with the inks, letting them blend until I'm pleased with how they look. You will see me coming back to some of them after they are dry to change them a little bit. Seeing them now, I think that I used more ink than necessary on some of them. So keep that in mind if you want to play like this. Now I'm going to use this alcohol lift ink by Ranger with various stamps that I have to lift the ink from the surface and because that ink lands on your stamp you can then stamp it onto a piece of paper that you will later on use in your art. One thing to keep in mind here is to always clean your stamp very well before using it on this pad. I didn't do that, so you see that my pad got pretty dirty. You have to gently dab on the lifted image with a piece of kitchen paper to make it more visible.
I will not be very pleased with this one, so I will change it two times, as you will see. And I think that the reason to why I didn't like it the first time is that the background color I stamped on was too light. I will change it to a darker color and it will work perfectly. This one has a more subtle look because it was a bigger detailed stamp, but I just love it. And I have to share with you that this mermaid stamp is by Andrea at Creative Creations, an awesome artist that you can also find here on YouTube. I link her channel below. Now I'm cutting out some craft paper in matching colors to create a border around my cards. And I fold some white cardstock to create my card bases. I never really measure when doing cards because it doesn't matter what size they turn out. I can easily make matching envelopes using copy paper. And as I have a tutorial for that, I will link it below. I don't have many word dies, but I think that this love die is great to use on all of them. And I got this great tip on how to make it easier to adhere by using double sided tape. So I tried that and it was so easy and fast. So here I'm showing that it really makes things so much easier. I'm using a tape runner to put it all together and you can see how easy it is to adhere the love die because of the double-sided tape. Then I take out all my small embellishments like rhinestones, nail decorations and whatnot and try to figure out what I'd like to put on each card. When done I adhere them with glossy accents because it dries fast but any glue will do and I also use it on some elements for a glossy 3D effect. And this is it. This was my first play on Yupo paper and I'm really pleased with it. Hope you came along and played with me and hope you had fun. Maybe even learned something. Thank you for being here and don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel but also click the bell beside the subscribe button because this way you will be notified about my new videos. See you soon. Love and kisses.